Good evening, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. My name is Gail Five. Uh, I'm Robert Gail Fan. I go by Gail Five One Three. And we're here playing Rainbow Six Siege. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege uh, online ranked mode. Last night I managed to climb higher into silver and keep myself alive into a decent rank. So let's see if that luck continues. To be honest, it was mostly due to the efforts of really good teammates on my part. Some some of those guys were just rushing and getting kills. And then also we had one match where like everyone dropped out except one opponent, which was really lame. Um, but yeah. Um, so I've been playing this game for almost two years. Um, let's see, who will it be? Uh, Obama is always fun. Um, ooh, may have an all female team, mostly all female team. I, I'm really bummed I never tried their like co-op like Left 4 Dead style COD zombie shooter mode when it was going on and I'm really bummed that that was like a temporary thing I hope they bring it back and like expand it even like it sounded really cool for there to be like more of a co-op like PvE experience in this beyond just like terrorist hunt um, Find the biohazard container location. I also don't know what the frame rate was like for Terrorist Hunt on co um, for, uh, for that other mode on console. On Terrorist Hunt, it's 30 frames because like the AI takes up a good chunk. Even on PS4 Pro, the AI takes up a good chunk of like the system's power. So you can't. You have to do Terrorist Hunt on 30 frames, and it kind of just sucks. Um, it's not the biggest deal because they're easy, but like. It's just so noticeable when you're used to 60. I used I used to never care about frame rates. Like, it was not until late in the last console generation where I really started to like really notice and care about it um, in a big way. Proceed to biohazard container um, location. It's just like one of those things. Like, if I see something with a faster frame rate, it's tough to want to go back. But I still play a lot on console, so clearly I'm okay with like lower frame side. rates in plenty of cases. Okay, wait, there's only the three of us. Why are they having this? Guys, what the fuck are you doing? Jesus.
five seconds remain. Ah, shit. Down to one friendly. We have been eliminated. What's up? How's it going? Are you playing well? This is only my first round. Oh, I got. Okay. That's cool. Let's speak of that. I got plug my mouth. What's up? Thanks. We lose a player. That sucks. I hope they rejoin. Barricade the room. We need to protect the biohazard container. Time to armor up. Yikes. in the biohazard container location. Nicely done. The biohazard container has been located. seconds before insertion. Insertion in five seconds. 
Biohazard container located. Proceed to its location. Stay back. the way. Only four health left. Let's see how this goes. Oh shit. Almost had him. Nice. I'll take the assist. Good work, team. Hashtag big plays. Pretty good, dude. Just started. Last night, I was able to climb a little bit higher into silver, so I'm feeling a little safer as far as, like, team quality goes. Had some really good, like, really good team mates uh, last night in most matches, actually. Um, we'll do Legion. He's fun. How are you doing, dude? How are, you, how are your siege matches going? You know, I honestly, I honestly stick to my strategy of just doing whatever the weekly challenges are first, and then I'll do my favorites afterwards. But um, luckily, it happened to be a lot of like the there were things for like both the Koreans uh, yesterday that I when I logged on, and then also um, the French, which I'm like I'm not great with, but I'm fine with. Um, so I, I I did a lot of Dekebi, um and then I tried to do some sigil, I wasn't great with him. So for defense, I usually like to stick with like Ella or Legion right now. For like some of the DLC characters to be more interesting with it, because I think their gadgets are neat. Um, and then... Um, gosh, yeah. Attack, I still love Habana. Um, she's a ton of fun. And then... I was doing some of Thermite earlier as well. Not yesterday, but, um... Earlier in the weekend. I like to try and mix it up. 
Yeah, it is. Uh, it's a lot. It's very. Oh fuck. Fuck all that noise. Her pistol's really good, though. I find that flashbangs are kind of like a key part to Hibana's, like, for me at least, her attack strategy. Even if I don't always, like, actually get someone who's, like, stunned by it, just to, like, create the distraction. One op four remaining. Oh, nice. Ah! <laughs> Thought he'd be around the corner. Oh, well. <laughs> That's what I get for poking my head out. He'll get that needle, though, I think, if he goes in there. Uh, we'll get him. One friendly remaining. Damn. It's a good Jackal. Jackal, I feel like, is underplayed, honestly. I think his uh, search thing is pretty useful on bigger maps, at least. If you already know where all the enemies are, and it's um, if it's a spot where, like, you know, they're going to all camp in, like, one location or something, he's not as useful, but... If you're looking for someone, especially if you know they have Kavera, like, he can be really useful to counter her. Um, cause she, I think, is like, she's also really big on a lot of people's defense. Um, yeah, any roamer, to be honest. Um, you're right about that. <clears throat> oh, there's my drink. My drink?! I just think it's it's kind of a cool. I like what I like about this game. It's something I liked about uh, Battlefield One as well. Um, I wouldn't call myself a gun nut by any stretch, um, but I, I I certainly think the history of weapons and like weapons manufacturing is interesting, especially how like certain designs inspire others and how some designs are so good that even like over 100 years later they endure but like one of the cool things about like any game where like you can get a lot of countries involved is like you can get all different kinds of weapon designs in and just see how like crazy different countries like when they are able to develop their weapons in-house like can get um and then when you think about like like Japan doesn't export their weapons just of the constitution or whatever but uh, just like how even the weapon you might never have heard of got exported to like tons of countries around the world. Biohazard container located. Proceed to its location. I think it's really it really makes it special. It's not just like oh hey, you know, person from Brazil, person from Japan. Nothing like specific about it. Like there's not like they're not all in like. Rainbow Six gear or whatever, like they're in their own shit. I think it's neat. Has like it's it started having like a GI Joe feel to it, but like more murdery. Like Frost and Buck especially it make me think GI Joe, just because like they're so out of place in anything that isn't a winter setting. I am. Sorry, I didn't see your comment for a second. Um, 
I think Clash is going to be really fucking cool. A shield on defense is going to change the game up a big way. Um, I haven't looked at the other guy as much, uh, but I'm, I'm just excited also for the patch changes. Oh, hey. Ah, there she was. Get outside, so he's... Ah, uh, at least she killed me. I'll take that over getting interrogated. Um... Ah, it's a good Kavera. One friendly operator remaining. All friendlies have been eliminated. Yeah, I, I'm wondering if they're gonna have have to patch that or balance that out. I feel like it's just one of those things that'll have to like be in the wild or whatever. Um I guess. We'll see. I mean, I, to be honest, I don't see a lot of Bandit already. I do see Jaeger a good bit. Um, oh, I should have just done finding another match. Whoops. Um, um, definitely a good amount of Jaeger I see on defense. Um, I feel like mute stopped being as useful. Um, like, he can still be good on, like, the bigger maps if you really are able to hide, but, like, so many times it feels like a drone spawns right by whatever room you pick anyway, especially on the first rounds, because, like, people will pick the most popular spot on the map or, like, the most easy-to-defend spot on the map. So, like, people check there first, too. And then it's like, even if you don't officially, like, find the... What's the most picked op? I'd say, I, you know, you talked about Ash on PC. I'd say Ash is probably still pretty dominant, um, popular. Um... Kavera it definitely feels like it, at least on PS4. I encounter her a lot on any team, it feels like. But Rook has made, like, a new entry where he wasn't, like... No one was picking Rook before. Um... And now they are. I think his body armor has improved. Um, definitely feels like there's more of him, but um, most picked defender, I'd say. I don't know if Kavera is most picked, but I definitely see her a lot. I Maybe like... Yeah. I think they wanted to make both of them better because, like, they were just not getting picked. Um, but it's really weird because, like, Tachanka doesn't get picked at all unless people are, like, doing a joke or, like, that good that they can, like, own with him anyway. Um, and they're like, oh, well, we don't want to change Tachanka too much because it would change his design. And it's like, okay, but he sucks. Like, I think it's... I love the Tachanka memes, don't get me wrong, but, like, in a... As far as, like, if you're talking about, like, actual balance of the game, he's not a good character. Um, I have, like, gotten kills with him and have won matches with him. But, like, only because, like, total scrubs just, like, walked into my path, like, with that, like, whole armored setup. What up, Kavera? The diffuser has been recovered. Proceed to bomb location. There's just so few spots where you can post up with it that's any kind of useful. And then it's like, Blackbeard is a much better iteration on what, like, his thing should be. Because, like, you can go prone with it. 
So I feel like Blackbeard is what they wanted T'Chanka to be, kind of, but like a more mobile T'Chanka who dropped it. Oh, fuck it, I don't want it. Is there something there? We can call and find out. Um, it's not as good on offense. I was only picking it because there were like some shotgun uh, kills challenges I was going for, but I only had it for her because I was also trying to get the Korean stuff last night. I'll probably switch back to her semi-auto. It's really good when you're um, vigil on defense. It's just tougher. Like I think her, honestly, I think this machine pistol thing is like dope as hell. I've gotten a lot of kills and like a surprising amount of headshots with it. What am I doing? Hanging here. It's only two shells though, so you gotta really like be close with it. I think frost is way better for like a gun like that. Fifteen seconds left. Ten seconds remaining. Ah, oh, fuck. One friendly operator remaining. Right there. So stupid. All friendlies have been eliminated. Thanks, sorry. Yeah, comments, I think I have this on low latency. But I think because it has to go through a PS4, or I'm streaming through a PS4, like because there's like that extra thing it's connecting to or whatever, the comments are still gonna be a little latent. I apologize for that. And also for that poor performance. Um You're good, dude. I don't want to be... You know, I know this game does require concentration. I don't want it to be too much dead air, though. Like, I take it serious, but I don't want to... With any video game, I never want to take it, like, too serious. This, I will say this is one game where I do care about ranked only because it affects the quality of the teammates you get. I always forget to put these down first, like... Ten seconds to insertion. Ready. Five seconds. Bomb located by Op 4. Are you kidding me? I swear I shot you like point blank.
I'm embarrassed one about that remaining. one. Boy. The bomb diffuser has been successfully deployed. Located the diffuser, destroy it. It does indeed. I'm gonna make myself feel better by eating some fruit. By the foot. Like, I felt like... I, I swear I got a shot off on her. Like, and at that range, it should have at least, like, injured her. Yeah, the older shot... You know, I think the older... The SAS shotguns definitely have a slower feel to them. I think a lot of the, like, launch shotguns do. They didn't start getting, like, really cool until Frost came into the mix uh, and then Buck's thing where you can have a shotgun be on the bottom of it his like rifle oh shit well that's what I get for talking need to use your drone to locate a bomb It was funny, like, last night we had a match where, like, every opponent except one left, and I didn't realize it at first, so I was wondering, like, wait, why did everyone on the team suddenly start, on my team suddenly start picking a recruit? Did I miss something? And I'm like, oh shit, that's why. It always sucks when, like, still in ranked, you somehow get those, like, team kill, like, griefer situations. It's like, how is that still happening? Oh boy. It wasn't me, it wasn't no, I still have three. I think that was IQ. We're gonna blame it on her. admittedly playing that a bit safe there. I didn't want to... Yeah. Seriously. This is what I said about having some good luck with teammates recently. Making up for my dumbass mistakes. I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. Hey, as long as I like learn from the mistake, I feel like it's a valuable moment for all of us, right? Ten seconds. 
Yeah, they did. They used to be way better. Um, I like his shotgun a lot. Is honestly like is honestly why I like him. Um, they're longer to like recharge, I think, and then they like don't mess up your movement as much. They just do damage over time still. Um, they nerfed Ella's th thing too. That was way too good, and then her gun was even too good on its own, but without any of that shit. Oh, why didn't we barricade these? Yes, I got through a wall kill. I, I don't care. All friendlies have been neutralized. I'll take it. I took one of them with me. Oh man! Didn't even see that guy. Yeah, he really is. Like having the uh, two grenades and then the uh, invisible stingers he can throw out are really nice. Um, we need to locate a bomb. The impact grenades. I've gotten like a surprising amount of kills with those. Like with him, like. Mostly on like lucky like Hail Mary style throws and it just like worked anyway. I feel like it was because no one was using I I feel like they like, you know, they want people to use more stuff so they gotta buff it or nerf it nerf things as they want people to like have more useful items. And, you know, there's give and take with that, you know, like, Epic really wanted to nerf shotguns on Fortnite, and they did, and now SMGs and, like, anything that can spray a fuck ton of bullets reign supreme. And that's fine for, like, a scrub like me, um, but double pumping was still cool, and I liked doing it, even though I wasn't always great at it. I definitely feel like there's some maps where it's like if you're attacking it's way easier or like if you're defending it's way easier. This feels like if you're attacking it's way easier. That's a cool outfit for Legion. I like that. The shades are neat. Oh, we had team teammates drop. 
I'll be honest, I um I get ranked as in beta. I think it's shitty that it affect you get a loss penalty if you didn't have a full team and it wasn't like and you didn't quit. Um I feel like they should take that into account like you weren't given like you stuck around even when you weren't given a fair shot. Um it's kind of a bummer. I feel like it's just like I mean, that's going to be the joke at this point. It's like ranked will forever be in beta because as soon as they take it out of beta, they lose that like defense for like anyone complaining about how it works right now. Like they never even talk about that. You never hear any mention of like, oh, we're getting ready to like get ranked to a place where we say officially like, okay, it's out of beta now. Like the game has been out for close to three years. Oh yeah, like, I mean, there's totally still things to fix. Like, I'm not saying they need to do it anytime That's soon. And, like, I don't care enough about it to be like, oh, we've got to have it be out of beta by whenever. But it's like, it's just like at a certain point, like, when is it, like, you know, what would, what state would it need, what state would they want the game to be in to where they would feel comfortable saying, like, okay, ranked is out of beta. It's such a silly thing. It's like, imagine if, like, Call of Duty or, like, Battlefield did that. Like, this is only able to do that because they're planning on have it having like at least a five-year life cycle, if not longer than that. Uh, you know, they might want this to have like Counter-Strike, you know, decade-long level life cycle, which I could totally see from this game. That would be legitimately cool if it has that kind of pull. I mean, audience is only growing, so I feel like the potential is there. I like that she whispers. Oh fuck, I'm gonna die right here. That's cool. Yeah, it's honestly crazy how big live streaming all kinds of tournaments have gotten. You wouldn't even necessarily think like, like I get. Like, especially over time, I've grown to really love and appreciate this game. But especially with all the down moments, especially if you're, like, watching... You know, I think, you know, it's just because, like, I'm thinking of, like, the level I play at Siege. I'm sure, like, pro level, watching more pro level stuff is just crazy in the strats they employ. Um, like, yeah, watching a game like that's gotta be crazy. Like, knowing when to cut between, like, one player versus another on any game. Like, and knowing how to, like, commentate in a way that, like, makes it interesting and fun for people to follow. Because with any video game, it's going to be its own, like, jargon and, like, slang terms that, like, only apply to this one fucking game. And then some that only apply to, like, the genre or whatever. And so how do you convey that information in an interesting way for someone who maybe doesn't know every single one of those?
Yeah. And like, I'm not even listening to what the chat is saying. Like, I have it so I'm only getting game audio right now. So I'm not even like hearing what people are calling out. Which I know is a terrible way to play this. I did actually. I beat him in most of the matches. Um, he didn't want to play too long because he was tired. I wanted to go for at least a half hour, uh, but he first I had to talk him into just like a best three out of five, but then that ended a little too quickly, uh, so I had to talk him into playing two more matches. So we just did like 20 minutes, um, but you can check out the archive to see all the good details. He was a little rusty. Um, I mean, I was too. I hadn't played since last week, but he was rustier. You know, I'm not sure. I want to say more recently. I know they've had like the green reflex sight or whatever for a long time, but I don't know about laser sight. Jesus, overkill much? No more, please. Yeah, for real. Heart still races in this game. The tension is like un is unlike like any other game I play. <sighs> I'm not great with Jackal. I'm not gonna mess around with him yet. Uh, think it is fun though. I love her. I love a bullpup rifle design. It just looks so cool having the mag in the back. Ten 
seconds before insertion. Five seconds before insertion. Biohazard container located. Proceed to its location. when you are. Too excited. Good thing I only hit the shield. No, that won't work. Right. Not a mana. Drugs. Ugh. Thanks, bro. Laying a breach charge. That's an issue. One out four remaining. Louise. Oh, I don't have any drugs left. Bummer. The objective, do the objective things. Securing fire and to contain it. Op 4 neutralized. Mission successful. Oof. It's always so fun when you can get them to come out like that. It's almost got a fighting game element to it and that mind game thing of like you've got to like get them to come to you sometimes. Sometimes you gotta just be patient and like wait them out. Camping is very much a strategy in this game. You know I'd love it if I could be the flashy player who could like run around and roam more. And I do that sometimes. It depends on who I pick. If I'm Kavera, that's like how you're supposed to play her. It wouldn't make. It, she'd be wasted if you. Oh man. Are you. Barricade the room. We need to protect the biohazard container. It's only going to get crazier when they add more people. Like, I think it's really cool. Um, this game has definitely evolved a whole lot. This is a tough room to figure out where they're gonna try and come in from, but I gambled. We'll see how it works. And in, uh, like even just like the spacing in this game, like you always gotta think about like oh shit, like I didn't look and see and that was empty or open, and now I'm down here. Oh, I hear a twitch. I think someone got shocked. I think by a drone.
They used to. For sure, they used to do that. That used to happen a lot. It was fucking annoying. On that, like, biker clubhouse map, all the fucking time. So annoying. It was brutal for a while, like, Glads was insane. And then they actually, like, buffed him, because, like, and I think they nerfed him again, I don't... It's tough to keep up sometimes. Guys, come on in. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds remaining. Op four failed to secure the container in time. What ifs? Sometimes you times out. Yeah, that was not that bad. Yeah, I must have been. I never even thought about caring about that that much in this game. My life for Iyers. Well, like, if the team wins, we won. Like, that's what I care about. If all I did was, like, spot assist three people, but we managed to kill them, fuck it. Like, this is a team game. Like, yesterday, like, you know, I was not, like, making the worst mistakes. Yeah, same. Yeah, exactly. Rounds around, like... Find the biohazard container location. And like, especially like if I managed to do something, like if I got like a kill assist or something, like I at least did my part, like... I contributed. Alright, they got more. The biohazard <laughs> container has been located. Yep, mute. Ten seconds before insertion. Five seconds before insertion. Proceed to biohazard container location. Sorry. Whoops. Didn't mean to hit you with the grenade, my bad. That happened yesterday. I accidentally hit someone with one of Legion's invisible grenade things. Like, it ran, like, right in front of me as I was doing it. Friendly, last operator standing. That was maybe a bit. Last operator standing. Uh, 
thatcher. Lost the matcher. Um. No, I played like shit that round. Um. Oh, by the way, quick question. When I talk at like this distance from the mic, can you hear me all right? Or is it kind of like quiet? Especially like over the game audio. Cool, thanks. Didn't want to make myself a hunchback this early on. 26 is a little young. Deploying barbed wire. Every time I go to the grocery store and I see like super old people with the worst posture, like that is like, it's such a, I'm like, I have to like military attention, like try and fix my posture immediately to make myself feel better. Tell myself that won't be me. That won't be me. They'll have cheaper cyborg parts in the future. I'll get a robo spine. Op four has located the biohazard container. Up the welcome mat. Barricades are just apparently not a thing on console anymore. I I don't know why. Like I know they're not great, but I just just give people something to have to break through, to like break line of sight, or like make noise, or like to know where they are. Exactly, like just to know, like someone's busting into a barricade. Like, yeah, spam them. You get point. You get five points too for putting one up. Like, why not? This like one game is the exception. This game is like the exception to the rule, but so many other games where it's a feature where you can spot dudes, nobody spots dudes. Like Battlefield, I feel like I'm always the only one spotting, and it's like, why guys, it's so useful. People spot in this game because it's like a major direct mechanic with the cameras. Like that shit. Oh, you missed. Oh, you missed. Going ham. Compensating for something, maybe. We gotta just blow the whole load. Haven't seen Fuse in a good minute. It's kind of nice. It's nostalgic. I do legitimately like Capcom. I think he's fun. They nerfed his uh, wire trips, but gave him more of them. Um, which is fine, I guess. Uh, but I like, he has a good number of like traps to just like help defend your room. Left. These guys are some bad Stop attackers. The from securing Protect the you failed to secure the container. Creep up on behind on me? What the fuck you thinking, boy? He seemed surprised that I was there. He was like, whoa? I was just gonna try and walk through here. 
Oh yeah, that's that is that's there's our highlight for the night. <laughs> that was really funny. Oh man. Always love when that shit happens. Makes up for me missing Twitch somehow earlier at close range. Yeah, no, he honestly he really he should have gotten me there, but I'll take it. I'll fucking take it. Barricade the room. We need to protect the biohazard container. Barbed wire deployed. I was also a pretty shitty shot, but yeah. Definitely. Some people got the drone jukes like crazy. They can do anything with a drone. They know exactly how to maneuver those bad boys. There's a lot of traps on them. Nope, that has a trap too. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, I've seen it happen. I've, I've tried to do it before. I, I think I managed to make someone like, shoot, like injure the hostage or whatever, but they didn't like end the uh, match over it. Have a private dance party. Just us and Frost boogie down. Oh yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, boy. Clapped, clapped that motherfucker in the face with my shotgun. See, those are those high-level Rainbow Six strats that only I can teach you here on Twitch. Sometimes it takes me several matches, but I will warm up in this game. That was a good round. That was a good like Frost can be a lot of fun. We well, you know how to use her. Maybe one day I'll learn how to use her. But that was pretty dope. Um 
Had some good luck with that, that trap. I had some good luck with that started it off. Um, <laughs> it's always the shittiest feeling when you don't check for the mats and you get one and you get hit by one. Especially if you already you know for sure the team has frost. To be fair, like that's that was a tough one because you never know like where the people like for a big space like that you never know where someone's gonna actually like put those welcome mats. I find the stairways are like more dastardly than like the barricade entrances because people expect them there more. People are less likely to like check a stair like the top or bottom of a stairway, well done. especially the top of one. Um, Ten seconds to go. Five seconds to go. Proceed to biohazard container location. someone over there. Hostile activity neutralized the threat. Oh, they got him, it looks like. Op four last stop standing. I tried to be all sneaky, but I didn't even need to be. Oh. Yeah, it's way quicker to remove that too now. Alright, we won the match. Fuck yeah. Staying alive. Staying in silver. The season isn't screwed yet. <laughs> One day. Hopefully I think I think we're close. We're on we're closer than not. Um Whoa well, went a pack. Twelve percent. Oh so close. Alright, um It's so getting close to midnight. I think I'll do one more match and then I'll call it. Um Thanks for tuning in by the way, dude. Appreciate it. They updated the uh, facial models. They changed how Buck looks for sure, and a lot of the characters. Um,
give it a few more seconds. Then I'll restart the search. Sometimes it happens, it's so weird, and then, like, I'll start it up again, and it'll, like, get me into one immediately. It's so... well... It is so weird. It used to be terrible. It used to be, like, minutes on minutes on minutes to get in, and then you drop the connection. Like, there were so many shitty things about the connectivity in this game. They have, they have, for all my griping, they really have improved it a lot. It's cool that, like, there is a community that was willing to stick with it, or, or, like, be into it in that first year. Like, Thomas was the one who finally got me to play it. Like, I didn't check it out until September or October, maybe September, September 2016, almost a year after it was out. And like well into like the first season of DLC and stuff. This map is cool. I, I like. I really like this map and the Korean Tower map. I think those were just visually like super fucking interesting. And the Hong Kong like um, theme park map. Like all all three of those just really cool designs. Um, don't fix it if it ain't broke. Frost for the win. Yeah, like CS is CS is definitely the closest thing to it, but like it's still very di like this has become it's, this is so unique now like with like the drone piloting and then this whole like defense thing and just the whole chess match of like all the matchups of different characters against one another. It's it's a lot like Whereas Counter-Strike is like a lot more classic shooter style, like everyone's on a lot more even footing in terms of like what materials you can be working with and like what weapons you can have and stuff like that. It's a lot more open or a lot more direct in that way. This has a lot more thought you have to put into it. And then the destructible environments and like just fucking so much. I do not like to wait in there like way too many people try and like get up in your shit in that room. Oh man, they got a Rainbow Six Siege console game. Assassin's Creed. Shit. The detail on these maps, bro. Enemy is about to scan the area. You will be spotted. Ah. <sighs> okay, I did hit her at least. Okay, yeah, I got it. Oh, and I got Nice! Alright, doing my part.
failed. All friendlies were eliminated. Locate the biohazard container. Yeah, no, no kills that round, but two assists. I'll, I'll fucking take it. Frost will get you back like that. Well done. Biohazard Long after death. Oh, come on, climb the ladder. Oh, come on, you can do it. Oh, almost. Oh, bummer. This game is racist against drones. Five seconds. The biohazard container located. Proceed to its location. Oh, come on. I want to see the brutal fight. That looks dope. Go do some counterterrorism. Like, I know there's no story to this game, so it doesn't matter, but it is a really weird conceit that there would be, like, members of governments, like, fighting each other, like, for this. Like, I guess you could argue it some. The secrets in the frosting, but I'll never, t I'll never tell. Totally chill with that bar. Oh, shit. Oops. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to uh, close out of the game for a second. Um, hit the PlayStation button by mistake. Yep, accidental rage PlayStation button press turns off the video. It won't stream like just the system level menu. Ugh. I knew I heard someone down there too. I got cocky. Thought they were all ups. I thought I was hearing like my teammate upstairs. Valkyrie is the next most popular roamer, I'd say, after Kavera for defense, it feels like. Um, maybe Ella now, but Valkyrie for the long for a long time. Dude, when people like shotgun like a wall and then put the camera like between the two walls so you can see both rooms, like that's fucking brilliant. There's some crazy... Damn, we were so close. Frost, I think, had the win there. Yep. Her machine gun is good, too. But I love that shotgun. You gotta know, like, the good spots to do it, but it is real. Like, that's, like, some next-level thinking of, like... It's always interesting to me, like, people, like, 
strategically destroying the environment ahead of time. It's like the evolution of space invaders in the modern day. No, what's that? Oh, I just played a whole round like this. Stretch. We need to protect the biohazard container. Secure the room. when they lost a player. That's... Wow, that's shitty. I didn't uh, know about that one. Yeah, whatever, spot me. Let's see if I can be involved. Five seconds and counting. Damn, that's shitty. I don't think I knew. I I definitely didn't know about that one. Located the biohazard container. See if we get another person with a top of the stairs mat. Oh man, they'll probably come in here and see it like that. But whatever. Three kills like that last match. Double trap with a double tap. Uh. Oh, I hear him. Oh, dude, behind you. Through the wall. Big plays. Hashtag big plays. Last operator standing. Frost shotgun knows no limits. Oh. We got another highlight right there, just racking them up. Ah, oh. I should honestly, you know what I need to do? I need to like play three like matches or so before I even start the fucking stream. Get warmed up before we start streaming and I'll just be at this level, ideally, whole stream. Hashtag big plays. The whole the whole stream is a highlight. Two hour highlight. From start to finish. <laughs> yeah, I got her outside with that shotgun. That was fucking hilarious. She must have I, I feel like she must have already been injured. She had to have been. There's no way I got her hundred percent. I got someone else too with it whoever was behind her, so that was dope. Yeah, doing well. well done. Even though we're Bio losing the match located. overall right now. Frost again. She's really good. Yeah, she's teammates. Come on. It'll be fun. Do it. Do it. Do it. 
Proceed to biohazard container location. They got really good throws sometimes with those grapples. Like, it does not matter how high. Like, they will just get it up there every time. This at least. Op four neutralized. Mission successful. Where were they? Now. Man, if I was whoever owned this place, I would be so pissed coming back to see it all shot up. So fancy. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Last comment. Yeah, I, I probably would too, honestly. You mean like the in-game like announcer stuff? Or like the angry messages people would send you online? Oh, I would get those more for fighting games, but totally. 
I have people rage quit on me so many times in fighting games, send me all kinds of horrible shit, call me a faggot, like, for picking the, a character they didn't like, like, all kinds of awful shit, like, hilarious, like, people who just could Nice, what did it say? Or is it not appropriate for the stream? I mean, I don't care. Like, if it's, like, you're telling me what they said. Unless it's, like, really, really bad, but... Send me on IG if it's not good for the stream, I guess. I don't know. Um, it's always so funny to see that. Cool. Gotcha. Appreciate you not putting it on there then. Um, that bad, huh? Man, I remember... Um, it's a hilarious memory. Hilarious after the fact. Um, I still have a picture of it. I'll have to show you in private one day. But um, I might have told the story in the stream already. I forget. Christmas 2012, I asked for a copy of Dead or Alive 5 for the Xbox 360 because it, it had just come out that holiday season. And I wanted to play it and it was out on PS3 too, but it had so many fighting games on that system. I'm like, yeah, you know what? I want a, and I want an Xbox fighter. Fuck it. Um, Dead or Alive, fought, Dead or Alive had a history on Xbox, so why not? So I asked for a new copy for that. My dad buys, you know, bought a new copy, like wrapped copy from Best Buy. Uh, you know, wraps it up in wrapping paper, gives it to me on Christmas, um, and sure enough. Or rather, I was like really surprised when I opened it because in the case was not the game, but was like a completely broken, looked like someone had microwaved it, like rewritable CD. Um, then a copy of the instruction manual for Dead or Alive 4. So someone like really must have planned this. Then, like a typed out message that was all kinds of racist and like offensive and like had like rape threats in it and like all kinds of shit um and I was just like what the fuck is going on so like my guess is someone like stole a copy like somehow this is 2012 so like only six years ago I was 20 so it wasn't like it shook me to my core or anything but it was just like one it was a bummer because I was hoping to play it on Christmas day two it was just like it was so weird to like see that it was just so unexpected uh, and then three uh you know my dad had to take it back to best buy the next day doing like the day after christmas returns tossing stun grenade Ah. Thanks, dude. Man, that guy's fucking terrible. <laughs> he didn't even fucking kill me. <laughs> oh, man. That is a hell of a note to go out on for this stream. Ryan, thank you so much for tuning in. Everybody else, if you're watching this on Archive, thank you so much for watching. We have a surprising amount of highlights uh, to put out from this stream. That was hilariously awesome. Um, moving on up to the gold side. Um... Anyway, yeah, this has been Rainbow Six Siege. I'm Robert Gelfan. I go by Gel513. Thank you so much for tuning in. It has been uh, an absolute blast. Tomorrow, I am not sure what I want to do yet. Maybe more of this. Um, Friday, we'll be fighting games as per usual. Um, you know, the schedule is probably going to change up a lot as we move into the holiday season. Once games start coming out, I'll be covering more new releases, and then Halloween, I have tons of horror, spooky games planned for a schedule. Um, but yeah. Um, thanks again for tuning in. 
I will keep people posted on Instagram with what I'm doing. Um, sounds good, dude. See you then. Peace out. Good night, everybody.